Hello everybody again and welcome to another episode of Products Review. I am your host Mike and with me I have the gang and we are, we are reviewing the cheesy uh, jalapeno double quarter pounder with cheese or it could be queese, I don't know. So, oh, he's th their appetites are not looking good. So we have right here two Grimace shakes that we have made ourselves. Three. Oh, three Grimace shakes in case the flavor of the burger gets really bad. Please like and subscribe. Coming in hot on the gram, that is stock talk underscore product review. All right, so uh, Beat is going to take the sandwich out of the bag. This is the cheesy jalapeno that we've all been waiting for. Now, we were worried about the sauce. It came with a large fry. It is not an economical price of $11.99, but we don't live in uh, an economy that is fantastic right now. He's gonna throw away the napkins. You might need those if the taste tastes so bad. So, or good, you never know. We're gonna have to see. So this is another one of McDonald's' uh, famous uh, items they have made to the menu. He's done with that. Uh, that we have, that they have added. So get your napkins, distribute the napkins evenly. Now these are homemade Grimace shakes that they've done. Yo, drop them. Take the, take the burger and present it, uh, cut it up. Uh, Redley, are you going to have a, a burger? So there's the burger presentation. Let's check it out right here. Here you go. Ugh. The double quarter pan. Now show them the cheese at home. Will you show them the, well show the open the bun presentation. You can see the bacon is, is, is actually pretty good. It apple looks like a, it looks, it's applewood bacon. It looks like a good sandwich. And look at that golden toasted bun right there. Do you see that? Just don't cut your finger there, man. That'll be uh, not good. So in here, we put the cheese on the side. One of us will taste the cheese because we're not daring enough to do it. It does not look appetizing. I'm going to tell you, show you guys right there. It looks like uh, cheese was, it already comes with enough cheese. They did, it was kind of unnecessary to do that. It's just not a good presentation. It's it could just be, because we put it on the side. I don't know, but we'll taste it to see how it tastes there. Okay, so guys, take a bite of your burger and see what it is. Is it hot? <gasps> He's chugging, chugging, chugging. Is Happy He's chugging hardcore. Is it really that hot, dude? No. Nope. I'm going again. <laughs> it's so hot. Are you just not used to jalapenos or what? <laughs> Is it too hot for you on the burger, the jalapenos? <laughs> so we're tasting the cheese now and we're backing it up with Heinz Chipotle ketchup just in case the cheese doesn't taste good. What's your... Uh, how is it? Does, how does what kind of how does this compare for cheese whiz kind of cheese? Would you want this on the burger? No, it ta that part tastes bad. So the cheese is not that tasty there. Um, but the burger you guys said is good, correct? What's your most favorite thing about the burger? The bacon. The bacon? Mm -hmm. It's good. Is the meat quality good? It's okay. Does it give you enough? I would you rate the jalapenos at medium, or would you rate them at like uh, not hot at all? Zero, not hot. Not hot at all. So if you're a heat person, the jalapenos are not hot. Uh, he was just over exaggerating about that. Um, what would you change about this product? Ditch the cheese whiz extra on there. Yes. I would say I would say because I mean that. Get rid of this cheese, but like leave yeah. the cheeses on. It Keep like the American cheese, but ditch. The cheese whiz. The cheese whiz is not good. Uh, you could totally tell it's graziata, which is no, not good. So, so you you what what you would do to improve this is you would change the cheese. Anything else about the burger, or the bun? No. I want to try. I've tried the ketchup. I'm gonna try it. Over. Did you try it with chipotle ketchup there? That could add it to spice flavor. That's brought to you by Heinz, by the way. And then you have the golden arches. This will be the last video in the McDonald's series right here. Uh, so th this is on special edition. They'll probably keep uh, bringing more things out like that. Uh, but this was this was a quick one for you. Uh, but you have it from the from the food experts yeah. here as far as on this product. 
This is good. You should put this on the side of your burger McDonald's. This yeah. is good. McDonald's, uh, you need to wheel out, call Heinz up right now and wheel out all the jalapeno, the habanero uh, that we got from Influencer and uh, the spicy chipotle because uh, that would have worked well uh, with your uh, with your jalapeno burger right there. Something to add to your jalapeno burger is bring back the Grimace Shake. Yeah, gr interesting enough, the Grimace Shake was sold out everywhere in our area and uh, you had to go to like basically half a, half to the middle of the county just to get it, which is a pretty decent sized county uh, to get that. So it's basically about and 10 miles away. To get, there's no jalapenos on this. Oh, there wasn't enough jalapenos from that store? Yeah. Okay, so FYI corporate, the workers are not putting enough jalapenos on. So that's possibly why you guys didn't think it was that hot. So they were pretty busy, they're always busy, but there was not enough jalapenos. So that is actually uh, the the burger maker just did not put enough jalapenos on there. So something to improve. So anything else you'd like to add? No. Okay. Um, probably just don't make it a dog show. And good night now? Yeah. Good night now! Happy birthday, Grimace. I just got the Grimace shake. Ooh, that sounds delicious. Really Do you want the Grimace shake? Yes, it's so nutritious. Happy birthday, Grimace.